Have you ever wondered what it takes to become an aeronautical and precision engineer? If you imagine how long it takes the industry to solve things, we need to be creative in developing ourselves within the boundaries of this University of Applied Sciences. We need to adapt our way of working and find smarter ways to learn faster. We need to learn by doing. My name is Arnold Koetje and in this video I will show you more about how we work at Aeronautical and Precision Engineering in Delft and what labs and research facilities we use. You will see what type of laboratory equipment is available and how we practice applied science during and outside this study program. We also offer opportunities for joining a research program through an internship or through a graduation project. This is usually done with partners from the industry. Vanuit de luchtvaartindustrie hebben we decennia lang eigenlijk al ervaring met het gebruik van composieten. Recentelijk zijn er twee nieuwe vliegtuigen op de markt gekomen, de Boeing 787 en de Airbus A350. En zij maken voor 50% gewicht gebruik van composietmaterialen. Het is zo dat deze vliegtuigen de huidige vloot zullen gaan vervangen en er dus steeds meer gebruik gaat worden van composietmaterialen in de luchtvaart, maar ook daarbuiten. The aerospace industry has behaved as a catalyst for smart and lightweight structures. At In Holland Composites, one of In Holland's applied sciences labs, research is done with and for the industry. In this lab, students, teachers and researchers continuously work on applying novel ways of developing and manufacturing fiber reinforced composites. By combining experience from different applications, such as wind energy, marine or a diverse range of mobility solutions, our students have a unique way to familiarize themselves with the state of the art in lightweight structures. Up here we simulate a aircraft gas turbine, so here we can employ the knowledge from thermodynamics, aerodynamics and gas turbines and see how the engine actually performs and how we can make it better. So let's go full throttle, shall we? Performance focuses on various engineering disciplines necessary for reaching the design requirements. It includes topics like aerodynamics, flight performance, propulsion and design methodologies. Okay, 
So this is our in-house built wind tunnel, uh, which we use for practicals and the aerodynamic course. And um, with the wind tunnel, we can verify certain aerodynamical properties of models or wing models, such as this one, um, where we can have a pressure profile around the airfoil, and which gives us some characteristics on the behavior of the specific airfoil. Flight simulation has been part of aeronautical engineering at in Holland for about 40 years and it's extremely important for our students to learn about all the techniques to design, build and test airplanes. We use simulation as a technology to validate our control theory and let's be honest, uh, what's nicer than uh, learning everything about control systems and flight dynamics and fly incredible airplanes at the same time. My research was about designing a control system for the vacuum infusion process for which I designed a fission system which is programmed in Python. The Microsoft HoloLens turned out to significantly improve the process. The preparation of the vacuum infusion process can be drastically faster by receiving assistance from an augmented reality device. A combination of actuation, sensing and programming combined in an integrated system are part of our smart systems activities. Advanced control systems are addressed as well as manufacturing systems to provide safe and reliable autonomous operation. We're going to detect the placement of a sample with the vision system and the robot is going to reproduce that placement. Our manufacturing activities combine performance, smart systems and structures content together with the basic understanding of different aeronautical and precision production processes. These building blocks are used within our labs to prepare for the smart industries in which our engineering students will continue their future careers. <laughs>